If you haven't heard yet, the owner of Sorcerer Battleguns was banned out of the blue, and well, he wasn't the only developer to be banned. This ban was targeted towards millions and millions of players, meaning to many people alike, possibly losing their jobs and main revenue source. So get ready, since this is gonna be a complicated one and one that may end grimly. Not just for Sorcerer Battleguns, but other developers alike. Now to start things off, let me clarify. The lead cause of this is due to Turkey. Recently, Turkey's Communication Technologies Authority, or in other words, the Cyber Police, has decided to ban Roblox. And this ban was completely without warning. There has been no official statement, nor has there been any notices as of recording this. Quick correction, there has been a statement put up the next day citing the reason as protecting kids, but I'll get into that later. However, there is one thing that is most likely the root cause of this. On August 2nd, 2024, Turkish Cyber Police has decided to ban Instagram for the reason that, quote, it violates freedom of expression. And how could this be, you may ask? Well, of course, for political reasons. And now you're wondering, for what possible reason would they ban Roblox out of all the platforms? A gaming platform made for kids. Well, that's the thing, it was made to protect the children on the platform. Technically speaking, this was a good solution for something like this, but in reality, it took the jobs of many developers and ruined possibilities for aspiring developers. But this wouldn't be the first time that they have done something like this, as Turkey is pretty known for attempting stuff like this in the past. In 2015, they had also shut down Twitter for two weeks and YouTube for two months. And in 2020, there was a similar announcement that they will be introducing new measures to shut down sites such as YouTube, Twitter, and Netflix. But there could be one possible other reason for this ban, and this has to do with Roblox and its most recent update regarding privacy. If you don't know yet, Roblox has released an update saying that they will start selling your data which isn't as bad as you may think. It basically does what every other company does, which is just look at your searches and interests and then gives that to advertisers for more personal ads. So this update doesn't affect anyone basically, since other companies already do this exact thing. And by no means am I a political person or YouTuber, but I don't think I need to be one to say that banning a gaming platform will solve anything. Especially one that people make money off of, such as Orage, the owner of Social Battlegrounds. But where will Orage go from here? Well, to a different country. Where exactly, we don't know. But now the future of Sorcerer Battlegrounds is uncertain, with only one person working on the following updates. But thankfully, the sole developer for Sorcerer Battlegrounds will be able to publish new updates accordingly, and there should be no problems with that. And obviously, this doesn't only affect Sorcerer Battlegrounds, it affects the millions of players from Turkey, and as of now, there's no way to get around this. Yes, even VPNs don't work. There's a whole list of VPNs that were banned, for example, Proton, Surfshark, Tunnelbear, and more. And many of these, as you may have noticed, are free VPNs. So if you don't get lucky finding one or don't have the money to pay for one, then you're out of luck. That being said, if you're someone who's affected by this and have found a way to work around this, then be sure to comment down below. But for now, all we can do is hope that this is something temporary and people don't lose their lives. And to reiterate, this is horrible. And even if this is temporary, people will lose out on money they may have needed to pay rent. There are a lot of other developers who don't have the ability to move countries like Allrage, so now their only option is to either wait or find a workaround. And if you see a developer who's asking for help, then I recommend you support them in any way possible. And if you wish to support Sorcerer Battlegrounds, then you can do that by just playing the game, as Allrage will most likely be fine financially. But of course, during situations like these, there are people who are just pieces of garbage and start harassing people from Turkey for not being able to play. For example, saying stuff like, I hope he can't play Roblox anymore because trash doesn't belong. Moving aside from the horrible English, if you decide to go after someone who you have never met, let alone knows about you, then you need to reevaluate your life. One thing I do have to say is that this is most likely rage paint, so I will censor his name out. And one thing to note is that if you join a Discord just to do this and end up getting banned, don't be surprised. I can say for 100% if you join any community discord and just say this place sucks and keep rambling about that, then you will be banned. And to the people who are worried about the near future of Sorcerer Battlegrounds, then don't worry because there is an update ready. But the more concerning news is to do with discord and how Turkey will go about that. If discord gets banned in Turkey, does that mean that the discord server will also be shut down? And if that happens, then it may almost entirely kill off SPG for a while. 
Worst case scenario is that Orange loses all communication with the other developer. But as I usually do, I put up a community post to see what you guys have said about the recent events. And the first comment is by Leon Dante. And it is due to dumb people with probably no future who create those NSFW games. So many developers have been affected by this. And yeah, sad thing is that these people who make those types of games, they make hundreds or sometimes thousands of dollars. And you may think it's through third party sites, but no, a lot of these are with Robux, so Roblox is indirectly supporting these games. And do you want to know something funny? Roblox could go out of their way and sue these people since they do have their personal information. And despite Roblox striking down on exploiters, they have done almost nothing for these NSFW games. And the second comment is by Max Fujikawa. I am so sorry if I got that name wrong. Always leaves a bad taste in your mouth when innocent people get affected by some political law that's just totally unnecessary. And yes, as well. I did mention this could be the reason for this, considering the many restrictions on other services for similar reasons. But I think the most logical reason will be how Roblox deals with its NSSW games as I talked about earlier. And now because of these bad actors, all of these other developers like Orage are suffering among other players. And for the final comment by Spade. Sorcerer Battlegrounds developer can't access his own account, so now the game is cooked. And yeah, if that was the case, then I would most likely have to move games to something like Juju Shenanigans. But as I mentioned, that isn't the case. And for the upcoming update, it will be pretty soon. And if you know any bugs or think something should be changed or added, then be sure to comment and I'll be looking through all of them. And a quick little honorable mention by someone live. My friend Liberfails had this happen and he's been very irrational since then. I honestly have zero clue what you mean by irrational, but unless he lost something directly, I don't think he should be getting aggressive over a video game. But my best wishes goes out to you and your friend. But about Juju Shenanigans, I do plan to make more videos about that game as there is quite a bit of drama to talk about and updates to cover. But do tell me in the comments what do you want to see if I were to make videos about Juju Shenanigans. Also a quick thing about the next few videos. I do plan to cover Eternal Battlegrounds and what a disaster that thing was. And if you've heard, Eternal Battlegrounds may just seem like a flop game on the surface, but it was way, way worse than that. Soon, I'll put up a poll asking you guys what you want to see next, like I did with a couple of my other video ideas. So keep in mind, both things will be coming, this is just to see what you want to see first. But with all these announcements out the way, do tell me down in the comments. Do you think I wrote something wrong, or maybe you just want to waste your own opinion? As always, you can join my Discord and talk to me directly. But with that, I will see you in the next one.